Hello everybody, how is it going and welcome back to another episode of Goblin Stone, the tactical roguelite RPG that we are going to continue today. Guys, um, I think we are still on the lookout for the best possible goblin for our squad and honestly, I kind of do like the ruthless ruthless thing even god th is hard for me as a german but anyways um crit and ruthless might be a good thing to have therefore i was wondering if i should keep you or not mm. the thing is i might be able to get it somewhere else where yeah these are these are not great so we're gonna drop these goblins real quick and we're gonna start breeding again before we go on our adventure so you all get out of here what we want now is somebody with real high stats like real high stats uh open mind show footed seems good seems good and now we need ruthless and lucky ideally tough body open mind hot blood can we no, we cannot. We cannot sort by any traits. Sure-footed, ferocious, lucky, ruthless, beast avert, ruthless, beast avert again. Ferocious, lucky, ferocious fit. I want to try that. I want to play around with it. Come on, come on, come on. Let's do it. Do it now. All right. I guess we go with. Uh, with you then. Okay. New blood. We got the stats from Oath Ruiner and the, the perks from Skim Cooker. Let's see if that actually matches nicely. There's Ruthless. There's an 8, sorry, 787 seven guy. We can possibly build upon that. Ah, so close. So close, but you're getting out of here. You're getting out of here, and I need to make up my mind for the other guy. We have another warrant. Bust briber. <laughs> you're just good. We'll take you. We will absolutely take this guy. He is just amazing. Uh, let me actually start breeding with the guy. And again, we need somebody with Ruthless, because I want to check this out. I want to check it out so bad. You're fine. This pairing holds promise. Okay. Let's go. We got blue outed. gobos. No server. There it is. So we have now an 888 with tough body and ruthless. We could also go sure-footed. You are welcome. Very welcome here in our squad. Perfect. And then Toad Bopper. Uh, you're ferocious. Yeah, I know. Let's get out of here. Live a Good. Life. So, that being said, guys, war. we are going... Mm, hold up. How many souls do we have on these guys? Yeah, we are going on another adventure. We are here to get into the sewers again. Now that we have all of our badges, we can... Uh... I also want to see what the culverts are. Uh, but let's follow the storyline. If I can. There we go. Talk to the Red King. That's... We need another badge. I thought we had all of them. So, who do we go for? It really depends on what we can... Oh, <laughs> gather? <laughs> Hell yeah. That's a lot of wood. This is what we are here for, guys. We still have a wood bottleneck. This is so good. We have 20 coming from this. This is amazing. Um... I'm already thinking what I want to upgrade next. Let's go! Warrior's Gift. Each party member's power is increased by two. And we get to look at another goblin. It's pretty good. Dirt Mauser is garbage. You are also garbage. I'm not even looking at you. Actually, do you have any traits that I don't have yet? I think the answer is no. There's a, there's a hair in my mouth. Strong back, spirited, sure-footed, aggressive. Nah, we're gonna not do that. You don't necessarily want to harvest. I like treasure into event. More than guru into camp. Yeah, okay. Let's go. We have very good stats, so events shouldn't be a problem for us. Unless they are kind of like a non-stat event. Something like, you gotta pay a million gold pieces to get the blessing of whoever. Okay, we got 20 life per kill and another 20 life per kill with 14 power. 14 power is less than 15 power. Mm, 
we're gonna keep it right now. We don't necessarily need the kill gain right now. The life gain per kill. Oh, it's the lamp. This is a random event, right? Yeah, 20% chance to get power. <sighs> yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. We don't get it. Um, but it's okay. From here on out, I think... Yeah, I want to gain power on this so I can get out of this mission quickly. So get down here. And power we gain by getting treasure, by getting shrines, and so on. Let's hold for a second. No ambush. Okay, guys. First battle of the day. We got the flaming skull situation. We didn't get the ambush. Um... We have an intercept. Alright. Just kill him. I don't care about damage. We can heal up. Let's blast. Yeah, we got the freeze. Very good. Okay, this is just a shuffle. Now we want to try to kill one of these guys. Another freeze, so the ghouls are not in a good spot. Double shot. Double shot is fine here. One ghoul down. Sometimes offense is the best defense. 12 damage. Okay, shall we heal that already? I'm gonna say no to that. Okay. You shouldn't do the blast. Yeah, okay. The I destroy myself and get you down. Huh. The skull is very fast, comparatively. Let's make it slower by maybe stunning him? Yeah, and we needed that, because now he is in the range of just destroying himself. Um... Sure, we'll take exterminate, because it's only a one-turn thing when we kill. Beautiful. Still, another firebolt. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts already. No crit. But we don't necessarily need it. Let's go for the blast here. Down goes the skull. And he's strengthening himself. Okay. We do get the healing chant. But I still want to drop a flame orb just to make sure I can kill him when needed. Set up a trap. Sure. And then go for the heal, and afterwards we're gonna do a, like, slice or whatever we have. X terminate. 100% guaranteed kill, even without the trap. Good kill. Good fight. Let's keep going. Ooh. Double, double yellow? Nah, yellow is not the greatest, to be honest. Five life per attack is fine. It's okay. Gives us a bit of sustain. Uh, I'll put it on you. And I put another one on the raider. Sure. So I want to keep my slots open. Uh, the double slots so that I have options for later. I want something that deals like more damage. Like raw power damage versus undead or small. Um, for the guys that deal the most damage. So therefore we hold, these, we hold the slots open. Max life increased or 100% more gold at the end of the adventure. That gold is not a bottleneck. Let's keep our goblins safe and healthy. Grateful for the boon they depart. Let's go. Another event. Another lamp. <laughs> I'm gonna smash it again. I'm not here for the gold. Uh, I'm not gonna smash it. Uh, yeah. That didn't work again. When will we ever learn? Harvest, not necessary. I'm gonna go for another treasure here. So we stay in the low. We cannot gather um, fiber and we cannot gather wood in this area. Huh? Huh? Now we go. Again, not an ambush. I think halfling should be easy prey for us. Ow. Guard. No, we're not guarding. We're gonna kill. They have very little damage, so we're just gonna try to take him out just like that. Ping pong, down he goes. And we gain five life. 
a blast might kill one of them. Nope. I don't even think that the fury is gonna be a problem. Let's try to blast again. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. So, can we kill you? If we crit, maybe. Okay, down to five. Soul Gale. Perfect. We didn't get the knockback of the Halfling B, but uh, we have our guard that might do something. Yeah, rattle. <laughs> rattle, intercept, guard, all of that would have been fine here to just prevent any damage. And now we go for the Killing Strike. Easy. With each victory. I'm trying to Here go through these fights the relatively fast so that we can play uh, two longer missions today, all right? Um, this is one here to get another badge to destroy the Scourge. And then there's the other one for the sewers. I'm very intrigued. I'm very interested. Schnonk. And again. Okay. Bounty. So from here on out, I think we wanted to go for the tough battle to get the treasure. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We're still looking for some kind of power-ups that just let us deal more damage. Where to go? Don't get, don't get the the ambush here. What's going on? Okay. By the way, uh, I think I I need to tune down the sound a little bit, just a little. Um, sure, we intercept you. Are you going for my mystic? I don't like that. So let's go. Crit. Astral Flame is really bad against the skulls because of their magic armor. So we're gonna try for a good old blast. That was a lot of damage. I'm happy that we intercepted that. This is very good focus fire here. I like it. Um, yeah, I'll try to kill. <laughs> oh, so close. All right, another one. Ah, crap. I want to redraw here. Because I want Pestilence to kill Kui number B. Just take him out of the timeline. Just get him down. Great. My tank is taking a bit of damage here. We have lost a significant amount already. 26 total. He won't kill in time. So I'm gonna guard. Slicing dagger. Sure. Go for the sudden strike though. Frozen? It's not what I want to see. Do we have a heal coming up? It would make sense now. We do. Flame Orb is fantastic here. Still have to deal with the flaming skulls at some point. But yeah, the good is certainly down. Good crit. That's exactly what I wanted. Let's go wakey. Nice. Oh, flame Orb again, I guess? Just to take him down. I don't want them to take a turn anymore. At the same time, I want to get my heal off. How do we get it done? We don't. The answer is we don't. So, the next fight might be a heal up. But at the same time, yeah, we also get foodstuffs. 15 power. 20%. Oh, sorry. 20 life on kill. Chance for a knockback. Mm. A mm, I say. They can carry, they can no, carry more. no more. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll check it out real quick. Uh, we want to certainly slot that in. Knockback. Knockback on multi and AoE hits is good. And then we still have the 20 life on kill. And we have this here. This is a 15 power item that could go here. I do like the 5 life per attack, though. It's more, like, reliable. So we're gonna say no to it. We could also give it to the hunter, but that thing... 
That's an 18 power. No. 20 life per kill. Sure. Sure. And we're gonna heal up our tank with just food. Okay. Good. Let's go harvesting. Uh, we might also get meat from this. Okay, no luck here. A decent harvest. Yeah, it's fine. A halfling! No ambush! We are not getting lucky today. Oh, and they have an adventure as well. And of course the stun. So, my friends. I'm gonna bash you. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Got the stun out of that. Wakey wakey kills. Slash also has a great chance of doing so. Yeah. And it's the faster attack. We even got the bleed off, which is not relevant, but I just wanted to mention it. They have no magic armor. So seven times three is 21. This is a total of 25 already. But it's only two versus three. Yeah, let's go with this. Vital blow. That's okay. Another stun. Can deal with it. Seven damage. Yeah, sure. Alrighty then. So, we want to reliably kill these guys. Let's go and destroy you. Down. Mystic bolts. I mean, if we hit the blast on the halfling, we kill him. That's good. And now we have all the time in the world to use our skills to delay the fight a little bit more with a rattle. And then heal up everybody and then kill. Seems good. Very nice. Beautiful. I'm actually gonna go exterminate here. My intention is to deal as holy crap, much damage as possible and then get the kill with something else. Not prolonging the fight anymore, therefore we can take the, the five turn thing. This is 50 gold. Does it matter organizing this for that amount of money? I feel like the answer is no. Okay, I want to have the easy battle. Yeah, there's no need to get the tough battle for a bit of leather and bone. You just don't need it. So, the halfling squad it is. Ambush! Hey, look at that! Surprised! Alright, guys. Let's go. Intercept guard? Never. We go for the kill. We are out for blood. Slicing dagger, exterminate. Kinda lame. Okay. Good crit. So, we can kill with an AoE if we have it. Double Celestial Beam will kill. Uh, it feels like a waste, but I'll take it. It is 28 damage after all, so it's not bad. And same thing. Let's go. And sets them up. He comes to follow up from our Hunter. Certainly is a double shot with the hope that we hit the back line. No. This kills one of them. Okay. The Fury. <laughs> oh, Furious. One damage. <laughs> Fine. Uh, you're not gonna do anything anymore. Actually, did I have the did I have lethal on the guy with bash? Probably, right? Exterminate? Cool. Yeah. So, Lionel Messi is gonna take another turn. Mm. Is he? Is he? He's not. All right. Bold attack. That was great interaction here. And yes, our inventory is full. I know. I know. I know. I know. It's not worth thinking about though. I'm just gonna leave it here. Take what I can. 
All right. So one more campfire before we go for the scourge. Place of tranquility and speed. I'll take it. They repose for a moment by the warm flame. Which scourge did we go for? The black skull, correct? We are not as well set up for the skull as before. The last time we were playing against that thing. Uh, I should also heal up completely. Okay. It is the optimal thing to do. Here, have five more HP, have one more HP. Okay. They can carry no more. <laughs> yeah. In case you haven't noticed, we cannot carry anything anymore. Man, these guys have so much health comparatively. It's so good. Uh, let's go ahead and guard, actually. Oh, wait. The first attack yeah, is the AoE. So... Right, and ah, this guy has a lot of physical armor. I should have changed my weapon. Blocked. So, our mystics have to do it. Let's see if we can. Eh. I think as soon as we get four hits in, it's already worth it because it's a faster attack. Compared to the blast. 42 is nice. Really good. I'm gonna try to get a trap. Yep. It's just more raw damage. And... <laughs> okay. I think this is just a race. Six damage twice. Holy crap. You are immune to everything. We don't have Sunder. Alright, let's intercept you. Maybe I shouldn't. No, that's a bad idea. That's an actual bad idea. You're immune to bleed. You're immune to, you're immune to everything. Immune to everything. Uh, right. So, what option do we have? Nothing. Yeah. We gotta crit something. 222 damage. Astro Flame, no. Blast it is. 30 more damage. Oh, we're gonna eat one more AoE attack. That I can tell you. We draw again. It's 10 damage. 9. 9, actually. That's good. Yeah, the magic armor absorbing all of that. Mystic Bolts. Every instance heals. Oh, wow. That's really good. I want to redraw and heal. I mean, we can sustain another one of these blasts. But then, we got a kill. <laughs> Fine, Basham. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Stygian Inferno. There it is. So, our tank is a little low on health. We have no heal coming up. Flame Orb is freaking fantastic here. Let's go. With our crit chance, we could have gotten a lot out of this. That's what I'm talking about. Trap. Yep. Uh, how do we get you up and running again? I don't know. We draw? Doesn't matter. Let's go. We're gonna try to trigger the trap. Because that will deal 15 damage. It's bad. This is really bad. Uh, Trey got a trap and win. Let's get out of here. Snap. There we go. Not even close. The imposing <laughs> creature is gone. <laughs> not even close. Oh, this is good. Uh, let me let me drop the junk. Junk is not worth anything. Can take this they and this. Can carry no they more. can carry no more. Yeah, I could have also dropped the food. You're right. Foot sore and weary. This is important. Lots of wood here. Which means we might be able... Wait, this is the amount of wood we have now? 32 only? They can... oh. I mean, technically we could upgrade our war room. War room or barracks, one of the two. That gives us a Let's bonus. See what the new day brings. Or we go for a guild upgrade. What's the shaman guild look like? One power per one spirit. That's good, but we need 50-50 here. 50 wood and 50 fiber. 
it's kind of crazy in terms of cost. Can fuel a strong that would give us a plus three power up on the campfire. This gives us another Oriflame Blessing, but also 50 wood. Yeah, difficult. Okay, we'll take a look at the merchant first. Come on, bigger weapon. It's just a no. It's a big no. All right. Seems like we have to reach a new tier of play somehow. Good news is we have a lot of money. So as soon as we get there, we are able to buy whatever we want. It's not bad. Cool. Quick check on the gobbles. I'm looking just at the stats and I see a lot of twos and fours and so on. So, no. Big no-no. Oh, we're full. Okay. Still want to try to breed into uh, Ruthless. So we gotta fire some gobbles. Where are you? Why do you exist? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, what are you? You're ferocious and lucky. I think I took him for the traits at some point. Free from war. Ferocious, religious. Yeah, we have a bunch of people here we, we don't need necessarily. Free now to live a life of um, and there's a two. Oh God. 238. Okay, so we have some room again, and I hope that the breeding works. So let's go and uh, try to. Uh, try to breed again. Foot potter! I'll take you. You are 787, and you have ruthless, so that's nice. I want Ruthless with Lucky, I guess. The so we're gonna breed these two. Brood. A new generation. Okay. A new hope. This is it. This is the guy. Ruthless and Lucky. So you have five power after killing a foe, and I wanna see if this is actually permanent. If it persists, not like super permanent, but persists over the run. So if you can kill like two or three enemies over the course of an adventure that you have 10, 15 power bonus at the end, that seems like a good idea. And I think getting that killing blow is not gonna be too hard. And with Lucky, you also get an additional plus five. You should be open. Oh, you got open mind as well. Because you get plus two mind and therefore plus four crit. That's even better. And then you get the Raider bonus for the higher mind and so oh this is so good. I, I wanna I wanna play you. Raider, welcome aboard. Um I could have also been a mystic. I love my mystics. Uh, similar, similar, I'll I'll take you for maybe more breeding. This is good. It's better than your father. And you are also pretty good. I'm gonna keep you as well. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think I don't need to breed any more of these. A hardy oh my god. Any Can I do that with your brother? Probably no, it's not possible. Uh, but you know what? Just to Damn have these guys. New blood. I'm gonna put more of them together. New life. So you should be ruthless, uh, and you have tough body, so... <laughs> it's fine. I want open mind and ruthless. Yeah, yeah. This is this is the combo. This is what I want. Uh, but I cannot bring any more of these people in, which is okay. Now, uh, take a look at the barracks. We have a bunch of souls ready to harvest, but I think having three souls on each gives us oh, because my squad six goblins gives us eighteen. Oh, this is. 48 and another 18 would be 66 then, right? Yeah, and we need 65 to upgrade. This is grindy, baby. This is really, really grindy. Do we take the ruthless guy in? Well, we're gonna do it later. So, in we go again. Now we should have enough of these hinterland badges. No, golden hollow badges to actually visit the Red King. Sure. Let us begin. 
Let's do it. This should be a long mission, actually. Right? One where we get another soul. Magic users increase their damage by 20%. And yeah, it is. Okay. Um, harvest makes sense here. Don't mind Fine the food stuff. Bubbles. It's pretty good. And we instantly start with the treasure. I love it. What is that? Cocoon? Okay, big shield. Plus our oh, red bauble. Oh, yes. Let's go. Damage versus undead. 11 power, 3 armor, chance to slow. It's less... No. Eh. I do like the 5 power. I'm a fan of that. And I don't know if we're gonna see any undead and where, so I'm gonna hold on to that for the moment. We might want to slot in something else instead. 484, aggressive. No. Also no. I think we have a pretty good setup already. Um... Hmm. Interesting. We have a bit of money thanks to the treasure, so smithy is a good idea. Let's get powerful. And then we can harvest in a tough battle. So, um, what now? What do we do? Upgrading the mystic's power seems like a very good idea in general. Yeah. I like them. They have good damage. They have good skills in general. They're very versatile. Good, good single target, good AoE. Yeah. Mm. And they will always be attacking. Woo! Forged on you. Holy crap! Uh, another one? 57% chance to fail? Ah. I wanted to say that means 43% chance to actually get it done. Well then. So we wanted to harvest. Let's go for the tough battle. Yes. Quattle! This is wood. Yes! Quattle plus reds. Alright then. Let's go. You are not stun immune. Can we kill you quickly? Man, you deal a lot of damage. That's the thing. I guess I intercept you. Shmeep. Okay. Sudden strike. Come on. There's the crit. We get the haste. Blocked it. Perfect. And here comes the damage. Oh, wait. We need to swap our our mistakes so that the high damage guy gets to go first. Celestial beam? No. We blast for a chance to freeze. Hells yeah. This is what I'm talking about, baby. So, Astro Flame kills the front rat. Which means we're gonna go for it. Cool. Progression. This is really nice. And, mind, we have some open slots that we can still use to make this thing even stronger. Nicely done. Amazing crit. Um, it could be the Beast Bane Arrow, but it could also be the Thrust for a guaranteed rat kill. And a crit on the Quattle. Go home, flying snakes. Nobody wants you here. Another freeze. Oh, on the hasted guy as well. So his haste will wear off without effect. <laughs> wakey, wakey. It's working. Yeah, you block it. Can we stun? We can. All right, Mystic's coming in, getting the AoE going. Uh, not quite. This is crazy how fast they are. Uh, uh, what can I do? Actually, I could wakey wakey the second line. Huh? That's right. Now oh, they are kind of prone to that AoE attack that we are talking about. Let's go. Yeah, another one. No. Uh, sure. Down goes the snack. Summoning their fortitude. And we can harvest wood. Oh, so good. This will come in handy. This will come in handy. Absolutely. 
So we gotta still think about undeads. Whenever we see an undead, we wanna slot in our bobble. If not, we're not doing it. Wanna keep my options open. Okay, we have Mama Rat and Baby Rat. Good deal. Uh, yeah, I wanna intercept that. Crit. This is such a great opener. If we don't crit, we only wasted one time slot and dealt a bit of damage. And if we crit, uh, it's gonna be so good. You are not immune to any magic. At the same time, this could kill the baby rat. Meh, it's fine. 12 damage is needed. Ah, oh, this is 11. Alright. Oh, this is perfect ordering, by the way. Now we can just use our pokey stick to poke. Double kill. Down with you. Imagine this guy is... Uh, is it ruthless? What was the thing that we were training? Two kills plus 10 power. And we wake him. A bold attack. Foolish creatures. It is working, my friends. Our goblin combo is really, really strong. So, I'm a fan of this. Some slimies. And we should try to take every harvest here in this area because we now know that this is all wooded fiber. Exactly what we are looking for. I was scared for a second. I read 225 health. <laughs> Crazy. Um... You know, if we can get the stun off, the black pudding is done. It's just dead. I'll show you why. So first of all, this. Nicely done. Uh-huh. Then we blast. Excellent. Take the ochre slime out. And then we're gonna blast again with massive damage. Wanted to say we get him now, but okay. <laughs> we have him. We have them anyways. Great. Yeah, no loot from these guys, sadly. And we go high to get the tough battle and the harvest. I think we might be very close to an upgrade of one of our gills. Or maybe the war room for another Oriflame blessing. Come on. Uh, I was so hoping for an ambush so we could maybe force a very early kill here on one of the quaddles. We could try to rattle. Alright. Try to get something with, done with the stun. This might be a redraw to get the wakey wakey out. In terms of overall power level, I really feel like my radar is falling behind. It's not doing a lot. <laughs> Down with the rat! Ooh, this is fantastic because it reduces the chance, or oh, actually increases the chance of hitting the quaddle with this. Staggering hit. Easy. Today, everything is working in our favor. 22, ah, whatever. It's another double hit, although we, like a triple hit actually, although we should only double hit, technically. No freeze? That would have been the icing on the cake, to get a freeze on that snake. But hey, we got the block. And another block. Sure, slow him. Whatever. The slow is actually beneficial, so he stays on the front line a little longer. Uh, well, I'm not, I'm not fishing for a heal here. Slash the rats. <laughs> And flaming orb kills. Kapow. Oh, With each victory, yeah. By the way, I didn't do it yet. Um, hold up. I want to swap these. And I also want to eat a little bit. Because we are slowly but surely getting a bit of damage. 
diligently only single harvest. It's fruit. No meat. We're down to one food. Mm. All right. A bit of money and another smith. If we can upgrade our second... Oh, I hate these bridges. Um, our second mystic would be fine. Uh-huh. Okay, but you somehow made it. Is this treasure? <laughs> it's not. Alright then, I want the other mystic upgraded. Sure. I love my fireballs, I love my magic missiles. It's just good. Nice, keep it going. Wonder if I should upgrade the raider sword. Bit of diversification might be good. Yeah. I said earlier he's falling behind, so let's I'm... change that. Let's fix it. Ah, the plus two to eighteen Better would have been really good here. Yeah. In okay. Into shrine, into another harvest later. Oh, I love it. They yes. Seek for stone for its blessing. Physical damage increased by twenty-five or good crit. I mean, have been we have a class that highly benefits from crit, and then we have the mystics who really like crit as well. So we go regular battle, we go shrine, we go harvest, right? Yeah. So, down below is our goal. I, yeah, I was, I was going too early. But it's okay. Dire Wrath. No, we lost our armor. Rattle deals no damage anymore. Shall we guard? Wait, one of the mystics has a heal, if I remember correctly. Or was it the other mission? I don't know. Can't remember. Yeah, it was the other mission. I need to make sure that I'm not taking too much damage on my... Um, on my guard at once. This has kill potential. Excessive if you crit both. Skills. Actually, not even then. Not even then. But we have follow up. Staggering hit. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful damage. And it really feels like we should try to force a heal. And we get it, yes. So, kill the back line. Or the front line. I don't care. It's even better. Because we have enough time to heal now and then get the kill on the rat before it can go. Uh, don't crit. Nice. And I want you to crit. Let's go. Fantastic. So, we have the kill. Sorry, the kill. And we're gonna take it. Oh, still? Hello. What? You get the poison damage? I thought you were done. Nice. This is gonna be good. It gives us, gives us food. No, it doesn't give us food. <laughs> Got baited here. So, friends, who wants an upgrade? Three max life for free? Sure. I'm not gonna go anymore. It doesn't matter where we go here. It's all the same, right? All the same. Good. I really want to hold on to my last bit of food so I can heal somebody that is... Uh, that is in dire need. After this fight here. So we see berries. Which is good or bad. It helps us healing before the tough fight. Before the boss, potentially. We'll see. All right, in we go. We have the rattle. We throw the rattle. A bold attack. Um. Fort? You have like eighty percent crit. Come on, buddy. All right. Uh, astral flame. It's not that good. Nice freeze. Exceptionally good. But we need to deal some, or do something with these guys. 
It's helpful. Ay, ay, ay. What do we do here? All of this is fantastic. So we could thrust to kill the rat and deal some damage to the quattle, or we can base pain arrow and deal a massive amount because they are bees, or we could DB a shot to deal even more damage, but it's slower. Uh, we needed a crit, but we have a 50 50. Uh, the, the, the rat is frozen for a little bit, so I think DB a shot against you might be good. And we got him. Good. So let's see what our shaman can do against the rat. Maybe we can take him out here. Soul Gale needed to crit as well, but we have a good chance. There we go. Got him out of his freeze. Hmm. Okay. I think I can already feel who's gonna get to eat after this. Rattle. Yeah. Nicely done. So... There's no heal coming up on our shaman, so we're gonna just go for the kill, correct? Let's do it. Crippling strike. Two more damage. And we have the speed to get it done. Right! This is working out real the nicely. Taste of victory. Seldom gross Seven berries. Oh, that's a lot. Is bitter, but it's fruit is and meat. All right, so we have no problems whatsoever. I'm gonna eat at the campsite. Don't worry, I'm not forgetting. A place of respite for the weary. Party member, speed up. I'll take it. Sure. Weary of the road. Yeah, this is a good squad. It kind of solves a lot of problems. Uh, against the skull, we. Had a bit of a problem, yeah, because of the, the high armor. We needed something with Sunder in order to deal physical damage as well. Uh, but this one here it just works. Schnonk. Schnonk, schnonk, schnonk. Good. And we go. This might be in this might be the end. This is like a like a story element where we are not even get to fight. Ah! Ah! I saw it. But I already clicked exit. <laughs> okay, Red King. What you got? Is there gonna be a challenge? A test of... Strength? Look at all of these rats. This is cool. With the parallax effects here. The goblins find themselves standing before This the thing is king. huge! His terrifying visage is unfathomably large in the confines of these sewers. Uh -huh. Busy gorging himself on cheese. Uh -huh. The immense rat takes a brief pause to gaze upon the little goblins. He waits momentarily, as if expecting something. Ah, uh, tribute. Intending to parley with the rat king. The goblins' tiny mouths fall open, but no words escape. For the goblins are assailed by both wonder and fear yeah. at the enormity of the being before Me too. Them. The Rat King's gaze intensifies, seeming to cut through the putrid air. Convinced of their ignorance by the lack of a customary tribute, he decides that the goblins' meat and bones will be payment enough for the insult. Are we fighting this it monstrosity is now? Wonder this rat grew to such a gargantuan size. Its appetite for cheese is uncanny. It's a boss fight, and he is immense. Oh, what? All right, what's the mechanic here? You have uh, insatiable hunger. The king must eat. He becomes unpleasant when starved. Eight turns left. Lots of cheese. We'll feed the Red King's cheese, healing 200. Oh, okay. This is a this is a long encounter where we have to manage everything. Okay, cheese barrel doesn't deal damage. You deal 10. Okay, you are stun immune, knockback immune, and you have good resistance against slow, but not against freeze. But good resistance against bleed. Good to know. I think we're gonna start with guarding here. I have the feeling that our tank has to eat a little bit. 
And I mean, Don't not cheese, but damage. We're gonna... Can we deal 200 damage? Can we? Can we slow roll this? Without mercy. I guess. Oh, he's getting angry now, right? Yeah, that was not intended. <laughs> Does the same thing again. Uh-oh. Oh, he's gonna get angry. That I can tell you. Uh, sure. A vital We're gonna keep critting him. Double shot is fine here. Exceptional skill. Yeah. Blast. Oh, the damage is fantastic. I wonder what happens when he's getting angry, man. Uh, go for raw damage. We have an amazing amount of crit chance here, so I think this is the way. Roaring squeal. It's, this is fine. This is fine. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, it happens when this runs out. Okay. Uh, we, we keep intercepting this guy. Maybe our tank can just tank. Exterminate. <laughs> um, slash him. Nice crit. Nice crit. We're wearing him down. Ay, 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 ay. King needs to eat. That's the thing. Do it like that. Yeah. 35 to the front, bit to the back. Flame Orb is fantastic. It's directed. I was hoping for a crit here. Uh, alright, alright, alright. Wakey Wakey is good. We can still attack the Rat King. Uh, yes, Beast Bane Arrow. Absolutely. It's fine if he's gonna eat. Rattle. No. Let's redraw this and armor up. I don't trust this. And I wanna heal. So yeah, you take your 200. 100. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, that means we can... Ooh, Spirit Rush. Wait. Uh, who are you? Yeah, you have the plus 10 power. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I want you to be fast as hell. Let's go. Oh, you're, you're digesting, so you actually get the two... Oh my god, this is so much! Ah, but the cooldown started again. That means now is the time to actually deal damage. I see, I see, I see. <laughs> Exceptional 85. Let's go. 49. Crippling strike. I keep armoring up. I don't know what's coming, but I'm gonna prepare for it. Uh, we're not get the haste. Nice. Nicely done. Ooh. All right. Can we have a heal, please? The answer is no. Shattering blow. I think we need to get the cheese barra down now. Let's use a blast. 69. Staggering nice hit. crit. Should I? Slow. We have a bit of time here. Go double shot. Wear him down a little. And then, uh, I don't know, whatever we can we can throw out there. Armor up. Fantastic. Fan-freaking-tastic. Okay, so now we go for... He's gonna act now. He's gonna feed him. I don't want him to do that. So we have to flame orb him. Yeah. Call in another one. You can have that one. Okay. Uh, armor up again. Absolutely fantastic. We'll take it. Red rush. <laughs> this is a very cool move set that the Red King has. I like it. Uh, Spirit Rush is good. We want that. Um, no, we want the heal. You are tired right now. Makes a lot of sense to do it now. Yeah. Okay. Slash is fine. Nicely done. 
four left. Oh, uh, he is in three. So this is gonna be fine. As long as we don't kill the cheese barra, everything is gonna be all right. Rattle deals 17 damage already. Yeah, he's immune. Okay. Flame orb, yes. We wanna direct every single point of damage on the Red King and nothing on the cheese bearer. Haste it again. Give me a beast bane. Uh, go devious then. Another red rush. Pretty happy about my health overall, and we have another healing chant coming up. That's good. Let's go and wakey wakey. I think this is the first time in this fight that Wakey Wakey didn't deal full damage. Like, crit damage. Alright. We are alive, so far. Get a hundred and then another hundred later. That's okay. This guy's not freeze immune, but we need to get the trigger. Sure. Exceptional skill. We're getting there. We're getting there, guys. It's long fight. We can do it. So he's gonna probably get another 100 soon. He is a healing chant. Hell yeah. Yes. And there's the 100. So Cheese Baron coming in. We want to kill the first one. The second one can go. Uh, that means... Mm, nothing yet. Ah, <laughs> 49. Perfect. Squeal. I'm gonna chance the damage with my with my blasts on the back line. Another 30. It might also be that we kill the guy before it happens. I mean bash is still better here because it's faster. Let's go with bash instead of rattle. I wanna armor up more. Uh, let's go blast. 33. Ah, uh, it's getting dicey. I need the Beast Bane, and I think I need it now. Give me the crit. Oh! A vital blow. <laughs> One! Oh no! Oh, he's gonna feed him! Oh, I was so sure we would get this. Okay, so he's gonna get 200 more. But I think we have the DPS to get it done anyways. Another armor. Healing chant? Sure. You can do all of your red shenanigans. I'm almost at max health. I'm fine. You are not. Oh, wait, wait. What's he? We'll heal up to 20. Gorging on cheese brought by the cheese bearer. Red King will heal up to 20? Why only 20? It was 100 earlier. I, I don't think it's gonna matter because now he's down to 42. He's getting 10. Uh-huh. Alright. You gobbled up too much, huh? Well then, double shot. One on each. Actually, two on you because bug. But okay, I'll take it. <laughs> you know what? Rattle kills. Oh, there you are. I liked the fight. I really liked it. I was afraid for a second, but we managed it. We kept it under control. This miserable rat may yet part with his secrets. Okay, but is he dead now or... No, just defeat it. Good. We need we need a surprise compliant rat king reclines to entertain the goblins as a host of smaller rats tend to his injuries. Mm -hmm. The goblins who have earned the giant rat's regard through violence instead of appeasement begin to tell their tale. After hearing out the goblins, the rat king's incredulous expression betrays his intrigue in the conflict between monster kin and menfolk. For purposes only known to him, he decides to divulge a closely held secret. All right, I'm here. In a few days' time, there is to be a meeting held in secret at the Druidic Enclave beyond the Eastern Mountains. All five members of the mysterious group called the Fellowhood will be in attendance. 
He tells the goblins that the answers they seek will be revealed then. Mm -hmm. He urges the goblins to take great caution, for the Fellowhood is a dangerous group, and their plans may be even more troubling. Yeah, sure. The Fellowhood. At the Rat King's behest, a tiny servant is consigned to guide the goblins deep through the dark, twisting labyrinth of the sewers. Nice. Let's go! Let's get out of here. We did it, my friends. We did it. Hey, and we got a bone fetish, which is... bad. Uh, but yet again, I think, uh, and I hope, that another tier of the game is now unlocked, now that we have met with the Red King. I mean, right? A new day dawn. Day 55! Let me take a look. Wait, we gotta get a quest. There it is. Trail behind the small rat as it is weaves through the sewer labyrinth. Its knowledge of these damp narrow passages are your only hope. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The warlock class? There is another class. A goblin warlock has wandered into your campgrounds. This practitioner of dark arts can barter its life for power. I'm here for it. A warlock's constitution must be strong enough to support the taxing magic. Hell yeah. Hell Prospects yeah, man. Loiter about, eager oh. for admittance. Tough body is good. Open mind is probably also good, right? And lucky. So, every one body gain a life. Oh, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. Okay. You want to have high life so you can su sustain the damage that you're taking? Okay, we're full. Quick check on the other guys. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, 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 how do we do it? Barracks, let's go. Oh man, we need to upgrade that stupid player again so we can build the other... the other... guild. And our goblins didn't get souls from that adventure. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, you're kind of bad. Let's get out of here. And that means we can take a look at our friend the Warlock. Who is your patron, huh? From the disappointing. All right. So, barracks we go. This is you. Uh, can I? Can I take a look at these? Yes, I can. So we have a magic user, obviously, that has cull negative five life, I guess, seven magic damage. Sacrifice five life to deal 130 percent of your power as magic damage. If the target dies, gain Inspire, which reduces the cost of the next ability by one. And it is a two-cost ability. It's good. It's really good. Harvest. Targets an ally. Drain an ally for 30% of its maximum life and heal that amount. Oh, you see the combo? The bandit plus the warlock? Oh, yes. The bandit has a skill that says uh, deal as much damage as your missing life. And our goblins are healthy right now, so you could see we had like 60, 70 life points there. So if you drain 40 life from a goblin, you deal 40 damage in one attack. Which is also as much as a fireball would do. Uh, we'll, we'll see, but this is a cross combo here. Uh, putrid touch. Um, targets a front foe. Gain 2 toxic, which is... If you deal damage, you also apply poison to the enemy and deal 50% of your power as magic damage. If the target dies, attack again. Huh. Does the toxic ability, like, does the poison directly apply with this attack or only after? Makes sense if it does apply directly. So this could be like a damage over time thing. Then we have dark will. Show me. Uh, gain protection, which means we're gonna negate the next damage that we take. Or the next attack that we uh, get attacked by. And then we have a 30% chance to gain healing. Is that a status effect or is that like an amount of healing? Based on what? Our power? I don't know what healing means. It's a bit obscure here. But I already like the guy. Yeah, we can possibly already play him. Um, by the way, a thing, a stat that I have never talked about in this series is speed. 
The rate of movement on a time bar. I know that if you have something that, um, uh, like, like a weapon upgrade that gives you speed, it changes that number. But I do wonder if there's also a class that has higher speed. That would be cool. Um, but I don't know. This is a story for the next video, guys. We have a warlock now. We have defeated the Red King, and uh, I'm very proud of my little guys. So, if you are also proud of my gobbles, then don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you in the next episode of Goblin Stone, the turn-based tactical roguelite RPG that I am so happy to be playing with you guys. See you next time. Goodbye.